Hey yo, what's up, what's up? Thanks for tuning into my channel. It's your man Rondell Jordan, aka DJ Black Swan, radio.com. As you know, I am the author of a series of books under the title Illuminated Nubians. You can find it at illuminatednubians.com. And in my books, I discuss real world history, right? African history that has been hidden in the Bible because of its black nature. A lot of us have been kept from this reality. It's just like when you watch movies. The movie is fictional. But the message oftentimes is nonfiction. <laughs> it's truth right, that has been hidden in the details. Of course, people who see things on the surface level right, are not really going to, well, as they say, it'll go over their heads. And that's no disrespect to them. It just means that there, there's a population, a mass of people in there are people operating on different frequencies, on different wavelengths. And some are operating on a surface level. They, there they may find their genius, their ability to connect with like minds. Then there's others who able to see things on another level some will say well they have a third eye or a third degree of understanding but that's not to say that there's not 33 degrees which means that there's many more levels But what we are saying is that these people are going to be able to sense things that others aren't. This is what I, I call like going from the stages of belief and then to faith and then into the knowing. Right? We start off believing we've been told what to think we've been given the standard but then it comes a point in time in our lives when we must exercise and execute what we believe in to experience it to explore it in order to come into the knowing knowledge understanding what was true and what was myth based off of the evidence evaluating being educated through the experience so this is what I gear my content to there's many options out there. Many options. But what I always ask myself is where is it leading you to? You know? You know, our goal here 
is to produce a body of work that will supersede our body at work in the here and now because there will become a time where there will be no here and now and at that point in time hopefully what your spirit did in the meantime was create something that will inspire humanity or humanities long after your existence because we all have the interest and the exit the exodus when we wake up in the morning feeling vibrant healthy strong that is a gift it's the gift the greatest gift the greatest gift of them all but some times very often we don't really appreciate simple gifts because they are divine we almost believe that we deserve it's bestowed to us because it is supposed to be this way but around us there's constantly reminders that that is not so we kind of ignore these reminders because we take these God giving gifts for granted until we no longer have them. This is the great shame. And this is the lessons that are often learned in suffering. Thank God for healing. Sometimes you don't wake up in the morning feeling strong. Sometimes you have been weakened. Sometimes you sprain your back, pull a muscle. And these injuries can be restored to conditions, but they're they remind you that health beyond all that can be obtained through material accumulation whether it is money or property or collectibles or people whatever it is that you can collect and accumulate spell wealth without health and so even in our healthy state we want to be grateful mindful appreciative and appreciative means to build up so this is the reason why I'm actually starting my new initiative which is a natural health and fitness restoration coaching program that's promoting proactive lifestyle through consulting also herbal restoration 
dietary, natural fitness health. If you're interested in a free natural consultation, just call me 614-702-7072. And we'll talk about a process program based on your needs, your lifestyle, your goals, your the outcomes that you desire to realize. Alright, so this is the message today. You know, we're creating a body of work that will supersede This process is an experience of getting to know who you are, your divinity through your roots, exploring your roots, exploring the knowledge of your being here on this planet. The more you go through your roots, the deeper into the depths you'll end up until you find yourself at your true source of power in life, in liberty. You're listening to a Illuminated Nubians.com, BlackSwanRadio.com production. This some um, this beat is by Medusa KB. A hundred minutes of heavenly Playboy Cardi and Adrian Type. to do a lesson on Jesus because it's Sunday day I love to talk to my sons one of the things I like to talk about mostly is about the Bible because I've read it much of it studied it not just read hidden details one of the details that tend to blow people's minds is is that Jesus was mixed race and his father was Kemetic or Hamite Egyptian as they call it they use the Greek word Egyptian the father aspect was hidden, was cut out because of its African origins but he's a mix between the Israelite and the Egyptian (laughs) and so we know that Joseph was a stepfather and we know that no human being (laughs) at any time in history can come into the planet without a seed the seed of life which goes through a male human form into the female form to be born from within the womb so this is nature so this reason why it's he says I am the root which is the Nile river and the offspring of David 